channel. My name is Ronne and this is the Fall Cook by David Wilson. This is the gorgeous home by David Wilson composing of four bedrooms, a living room and this gorgeous kitchen. We're going to start right here in this kitchen that has beautiful integrated appliances. They've got an oven here, well double oven by AEG. Beautiful setup here by this aging team. Here we have a lovely hob with five burners. It's a guest hob with an extractor fan. I think this guest hob is perfect for this home as a four bedroom home. I always appreciate a five burner as I have a big family myself. So moving on over here, well, looking at these beautiful countertops, guys, the countertops in here are divine. We've got a single sink here. I'm sure with upgrades and your own options, you could pick different kinds of sink. We've got a beautiful tap here, the kind of farmhouse type of tap with that hook shape with two livers there. I love that because that means you've got the hot and cold accessible right there. Let's see if there's any more integrated appliances, of course. There is the dishwasher right by the sink as usual. I love these little grooves because they mean when you dry your stuff then the water can easily glide into the sink. In here we also have the fridge and freezer facing the back of the house there. Then over this side we've got this beautiful table here. I love this wood. It's a nice wood table that fits six people. I'm sure if you have a large party, you can add two more um, chairs there and make it eight. And wow, isn't that a beautiful set of lighting? It's gorgeous. And then the show must be here. That's the focal point of this house for me. Like I just love looking out into the garden. They have two French doors. They give you access to this beautiful garden. Of course the gardens will be all different. You can set up your garden how you love. But this also has this conservatory feel here. So it opens up all the way to the sides. And you have small windows here too. So you've got a lot of light coming through there. And the glass panes are just divine, 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 divine. The staging is great too. I love the chairs here, but I don't know if I would do that for myself. I think they look great and they add extra seating for a family. But yeah, I think I just want to enjoy my garden view <laughs> without the seating. And then over to this side of this kitchen, we've got this lovely console table they've set up here. I think this is really pretty. Um, it just adds a few trinkets, adds a feature to the kitchen as well. Lovely large clock there. Yeah, it's beautiful. It adds character and decor to the room. You could add your incense here, something to make the kitchen just smell even nicer on those days where you've cooked you cooked up a storm <laughs> and you want to maybe reduce the amount of odors and then up here we've got recessed LED lights and we've got quite a lot of them in this kitchen you know me and my recessed LED lights if you're not new to the channel but yeah they add something to the room which is great so off the kitchen here we've got a laundry room which is a great place to have it because then you also have this door that accesses the garden which is great so from your laundry room straight to your garden and then on this side they've put a washing machine they've got a space for a dryer which is great so if you don't want to go outside in the cold scottish weather then you can use your dryer here and then this countertops i really like these countertops they've got like veins going through them and they're just gorgeous they have sockets in here too in case you want to use this maybe for your other appliances if you want to have maybe a hoover charger in here or maybe like bigger appliances like your rice cooker or something you could probably place it there but yeah i love how it's so perfectly fitting in this space and then moving on into this here is the downstairs wc also greatly placed so at least it's not very close to the kitchen you go through the laundry room into the downstairs wc we've got the toilet and we've got the sink here with a single lever 
I love the tiling in here and that warm color there on the wall. These are really sweet. They add a touch of greenery into this space. And one of my favorite things in a WC is a window. A good window ventilates, aerates the smells, you know. So it's nicer to be able to open a window here. But they also have a heated towel rail, which is wonderful for this space. Great spacing. I love that. So after doing your business, your towel will be warm. <laughs> then we're going to head back into the kitchen. I really like the fact that there's so much cabinetry. Don't you like that? There's so much space for your stuff in here. It's very well done. Great cabinets. And this dark color seems to be very in. Dark blue, dark green, almost farmhouse. It seems to be very in currently. And I'm really appreciating that. I'm enjoying um, this decor style. Then over into the hallway now. And here we have a storage space under the stairs, storage space. And then over this side, we've got space for your coats. That's great. Very well done, isn't it? Great space for your coats there, and you can put your shoes up there. Coats, perfectly done. And then the space under here. It's got your electricals, and then you can keep your shoes as well. More space under there, perfect. Yeah, great space to use under the stairs there. A great way to use the understair storage. And then we're gonna continue. So, guys, this is your main entrance, right? You come in through here, and then we had gone straight to the kitchen. But in this house, there's a lounge space right in here. Great size lounge space, right? There's beautiful windows here. These windows open this way. I don't know if I'll be able to indicate, but they open this way, which is really cool too. It means your little ones won't easily jump out, um, which is, yeah, ideal. All your dogs or whatever, you can open the window and if they're smaller than this, then they shouldn't be able <laughs> to jump out. Although mine would probably <laughs> step on the radiator and hop over. I love the little design on it as well. It adds a bit of character. So we've got actually four panes of glasses, just smaller panes of glasses down here. And then they've just added a bit of decor there. Um, I love the curtains. I love these type of curtains that are fitted up there. I feel like they give the illusion of a bigger window and a bigger space, but also they just add beauty and class. Over to the seats here. They look like they're two seaters, but they are really big i do believe like three adults could fit here comfortably and maybe four younger people could fit here so this is a very 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 spacious room and then they've got beautiful decor as usual we've got an armchair here that is great i love this i love this kind of fabric armchair i feel like it's a very beautiful style to have. It's almost got that herringbone shape, but not quite a herringbone chair. And then over here, we've got this huge console here. Now this is, this is big. Again, I said in the last video, if you see a big console table, that means you know the designer and the person staging it was confident that the space is spacious enough to be able to handle this kind of um, decor. And a beautiful TV up there. I love this um, textured wall thing. I don't know what wall feature they use here, but it's really interesting to look at. And then we've got another seat, more space for seating. I think same, same size, maybe three seater, three adults could probably fit here comfortably. Two beside me. Don't know if we want to be that close, but yeah. <laughs> I love the mirror. It reflects the lights in the room as well. 
and that lighting is very cute i always appreciate the little bubble type they've got two in here again which shows and reflects the size of the room if you can fit two light fixtures so comfortably then you know that you've got space <laughs> lovely tree at the corner there we're gonna head back and we're gonna go upstairs a two-toned banister up here we've got lovely carpet meaning the vibe of the room has changed we're entering private comfy zone <laughs> comfy zone for everybody for the family the first floor now at the private quarters of this home so we're gonna start right here in this bedroom this bedroom here is a double bedroom beautiful double bed that has quite a bit of space beside it still we've got i feel like it's staged as a young man's room maybe teenager's room and it's got these lovely posters that says boston chicago so maybe we have a little trauma in our hands <laughs> So there's a lovely chair here for when he he's doing his homework or she's doing her homework. Um, so yeah, great space because there's space enough to fit a table there, a side table over here, and we got a chest of drawers. So if we can fit all this in here, you know, the room is spacious and not forgetting the all important fitted wardrobes. <laughs> hey mom. So we've got fitted wardrobes in here. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> we've got fitted wardrobes that have rails and space up there. And yeah, it's a great room. What do you think? It is. It's a great child's room. If I beautiful. Would you love this room as a teenager? I will. Yeah, have a teenager. <laughs> and then on to this side is the family bathroom in this family bathroom here it's got tiles floor to ceiling a downstairs wc oh downstairs i say that often a wc and then we've got um a sink here with a single lever so warm and cold water here and then back here we've got a bathtub <laughs> lovely space actually the bathtub and the overhead shower practical very useful i love the tiles they remind me of my own these kind of textured stone looking tiles are really um they add something to a room don't they they do and they've got recessed led lights in here four of them and then we're going to go to our next room now Wow, now the deco in here is saying a bit of an older gal maybe or an older person. So I love this room, beautiful. I love the bedding. I feel like that's what we would appreciate. The men would appreciate the bedding as much, but this, this is beautiful. And this, love how it's made. And then I love the light fixtures in here. The side table. I think this might be the primary bedroom because there's the couple there. And then these are so gorgeous. Are they fitted in there? I feel like I could do that myself. Like, and then we've got wardrobes here. Do you know what's funny about these wardrobe guys? They remind me of old school wardrobes, but they're in a new build. Do you remember there used to be wardrobes like this back in the day? No. Nope. Now they're coming back, it looks like. So a very good his and hers i guess a lovely window here two pane one at the bottom one at the top and then over here we've got an ensuite very spacious ensuite actually um heated rails which are great it's nice to come out of the shower and have a warm towel and then we've got a wc just the toilet and the sink over here half tiles in here similar but these ones have a bit more gloss to them and then on this side we've got a shower do you want to see the shower just a normal shower head up in there and then we've got 
recessed LED lights in here as well. Back into the hallway here, we've got two doors here that open in French style. And up here, we've got a water tank, humongous water tank. So nothing exciting in there. And then we've got this long banister here. And then you can go like this, check out your guests before you go down. You see who's there, who's at the door, or call out to your children. Hey, Benton, Douglas, Evans, <laughs> Okay, maybe this is the primary bedroom? What? What was that? So we're in the primary bedroom now. Okay, yeah, this is the primary bedroom because it's got two windows that had a single window. So we've got two French windows here. Beautiful bedroom. Oh, this is nice. Okay, there's the bride and groom, okay? And then we've got this beautiful light fixture here. Oh, mom, are we taking the juvet covers with us? So beautiful, isn't it? very much mm. look at the headboard beautiful headboard and these tables here very cute and i love the lamps as well they've been around for a while but i really do still like this stone type of light decor this is gorgeous i love this room and the wallpaper is very neutral there's always paint on the walls it's not always white white but they have paint that is not that gives more of a warmth than like nude yeah like nude so mm. not crystal white where it's like burning your eyes but it's like there's something there that's very subtle and then behind here we've got french opening <laughs> wardrobes so this is her side beautifully done and then this is his side because it's got his shirt beautifully done practical space and then here we've got a beautifully vanity area beautifully done vanity area with a lovely marble thin countertop looking thing boho style lovely gold mirror there i think that's beautiful and i love this very odd but interesting and then over here we've got the primary bedrooms on okay now this is the primary bedrooms on suite <laughs> that was nice enough but this now this is big right <laughs> beautiful shower you've got space for two so you and your man can fit in here over there is all the way to the top which is um full length tiles and then over this side we've got half tiles we've got one window here so single window window is a window in a bathroom perfection and again this color that is not crystal white but it's kind of muddy i think i have this somewhere in my wall i did um i really like that it adds something and then we've got the heated rails lovely ensuite recessed led lights hmm. some kind of veneer wood um well false wood Love that. Then back into the hallway. Um, a window in a hallway means we've got space. So after you hoover your hallway, you can open up the window, let some mesh and light, fresh air in. Number one, light. <laughs> Maybe not the number one, light, but the fresh air, yes. And then we're at our final bedroom. Love this again. Similar kind of vibe, like boho but this here has a yoga theme i think somebody loves yoga this bedroom so a yoga gal single window but two pane glasses roman blinds double bed with a lot of space around it so again we've got this um i guess lovely lady who likes yoga because we've got yoga poses on the on the wall um we've got a yoga mat here so I, lo I love the decor i love the what they were going here a yoga journal and a yoga pose <laughs> it's got more of a pinky tone on the wall there that is giving a bit of girliness but like dusky i love that i love the decor in here a little bit of a vanity chair 
that doesn't take up too much space you can just tuck it away under your table there to give you back your space fitted wardrobes the all important fitted wardrobes similar vibe they open in french style but they do have a mirror on them again i do enjoy this coming back i feel like it's making a comeback in the fitted form back in the day when we had this there were just no more wardrobes that weren't fitted but these are definitely fitted some recessed led lights for when you're getting ready and you want to see yourself properly so you're like oh yeah i can see myself properly now it's all clear now <laughs> so a beautiful bedroom here and that is the fall cook by david wilson a lovely four bedroom home that is perfect for families i think we can both appreciate that this home has enough space for maybe a family of five what do you think family of six no family of four four yeah <laughs> and then a guest bedroom okay yeah a lovely home so i'll end this vlog here thank you so much for watching this video and i cannot wait to see you on the next one and don't forget stay until the end because i always give a bit more information about the homes until the end another reminder guys i am now an estate agent so if you're looking to sell your home which is very likely if you're looking at this video do not hesitate to call me um, I have my details in the description bar below. I'll have my email address here. So if you're looking to sell, inform me and I will see you on the next one. Au revoir. Okay, guys. Now, first of all, I believe I've been pronouncing the house type name wrong. This house is called the Falkland. Falkland by David Wilson. I believe that's the correct pronunciation of this home. This home is a four bedroom home. It's a detached home with an integral garage, which is great garage space. Um, it comes in fully turfed garden, which is also not the case normally with new builds. You normally have to pay an extra fee to get your garden done. But at least here you'll have a fully turfed garden included in the price. This four bedroom home is currently starting price from £368,000 and I believe that's a good price for a family home this size. This home is currently available in Kilmarnock. So I will leave the details in the description bar below. But this home had a few gems that I really enjoyed. I enjoyed the open plan kitchen. I enjoyed the utility room downstairs and the windows, the um, windows that are attached to the garden and the French doors, that conservatory feel. I believe for that price, you are getting your money's worth. There was wardrobe space in each and every one of those bedrooms, which is also very ideal for spacing. Downstairs, we had enough space to put away your Hoover and hang your coats. The lounge room was very spacious. So yeah, I feel like you get your, um, you get bang for your buck, basically. And let me know what you think. What are your thoughts on this four-bedroom home by David Wilson? I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye.